Tim Sonnefeld here from Wonder Imagery with a demonstration of animal connection. I'm here with Katie. Tell everybody hi, Katie. Hi. And um, Katie, I've got some animal pictures here. And uh, do you like animals? I like animals too. We're going to see if we can have a connection with these animals. This uh, first animal is what? A fish. That's right. It's a fish, a goldfish. Do you know um, why fish swim in salt water? Uh, because pepper makes them sneeze. Yeah. And this is what kind of animal? That's a frog, and you know what kind of shoes frogs wear? Open-toed. <laughs> Get it? Open-toed. Yeah. And uh, that's a chicken, right? Chicken. And, uh, oh, what happens when a chicken lays an egg on the roof? Uh, you get an egg roll. You get an egg roll. Stop reading my script. Yeah, that's good. And uh, this is a parrot, right? And you know um, what's orange and sounds like a parrot? Carrot. <laughs> yeah, that's not a very good one. And the last one is what? A monkey, and uh, do you know why monkeys have big nostrils? Because they have big fingers. Yeah. Now, Katie, what I'm going to do is take these cards, I'll mix them up, I'll hold them one at a time over each of these big cards, and these big cards are places that these animals might live. Now, I'm not going to show you these cards, and you're not going to see these cards. We're going to see if you can have some kind of connection in your mind between the cards without knowing what they are. So here's the first one. I'll go slowly. You just say stop whenever you're ready. Right here, okay. And uh, take the clip off. Perfect, and uh, hand me the clip. We'll clip this on here. Now stick it up a little bit so everybody can see it there. Put that back. All right, here's the next card. Just say stop. Stop. Right here. All right, take the clip off. And we'll put this one here and clip this one as well. All right, we've got a few more to go. Here's the next one. I'm just gonna go down, say stop. Right here. All right. You take the clip off. I'll just put this one right here. Thank you very much. We'll put this here. All right. We have two left. So uh, go here. Oh, this one. All right. Right here on the end. All right. Hold that. And we'll put this one here. Let me see the clip. Let's get this clipped on here. Here we go. Back into the holder. And the last one. Oh, well, it pretty much has to go here, right? So take the clip off. We'll put this card clipped to this one. And I think we're going to see how well you match them all up. Let's pull this up a little more so everybody can see it. So you could have stopped me anywhere on any one of the cards. But let, let's see. This, this one that you just matched up is the... Uh, oh, it's a parrot. Now, where, where might a parrot live? A cage. Oh, in a cage, right. We have a parrot in a bird cage. So, so far, that's good. And this next one is, I'm looking at the frog. Where would a frog live? In a pond. In a pond on a lily pad. That's right. You got that one right too. And uh, all right, I'm looking at the goldfish. Where would a goldfish live? In a fishbowl. Oh, perfect. In a fishbowl. Looks like you have a really good connection, Katie, with all these animals. And uh, this, I'm looking at the chicken. Where would a chicken live? In a barn. In a barn, exactly. There's a chicken. And the barn, and last but not least, Katie, I have the monkey. Where would a monkey live? You know what? It doesn't matter. We just know that monkeys love to eat bananas. Katie, you match them all up. You really have a connection with the animals. High five. <laughs>